Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a mode for counter using 4026 IC. So let's get started. Let's see the circuit diagram for this. We need IC 4026. Then we need one piece of 7 segment display which is common cathode and its common pin is connected to ground as it is common cathode and it has 7 inputs so we need 7 resistors and the resistor value is 330 ohms now see the resistor connections as we have its 7 input A B C D E F and G segment and its A segment is connected to pin number 10 of the IC B is connected to 12 C is connected to 13 D is connected to 9 E is connected to pin number 11 F is connected to pin number 6 and G is connected to pin number 7 its pin number 3 and 16 both are connected together and these two are connected to VCC will apply plus 5 volt and its pin number 2 and 8 both are connected together and these two are connected to ground now we need another IC it is 7408 its pin number 3 is connected to pin number 15 of 4026 ok these both are connected and here 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected and then this resistor is connected to ground its pin number 2 is connected to pin number 7 of 4026 and its pin number 1 is connected to pin number 6 of 4026 its pin number 7 is connected to ground and its pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC now come to the clock pin pin number 1 is the input clock pin and will generate clock pulse from a push button switch and the other side of the push button is connected to plus VCC we have to connect one, one kilo ohm resistor to this and then this resistor is connected to ground its value is one kilo ohm and another resistor we have to connect and we need to connect one LED and then the cathode pin of the LED is connected to ground this resistor value is 220 ohms so whenever we press the switch this LED will glow you can generate the clock pulse by this switch or you can connect triple 5 IC or any other clock generation circuit I'll show that in next part of the video now let's see this on the breadboard put the IC 4026 then put all the 330 ohms resistor now put 7 segments display as it is common cathode so we need to connect its common pin to the ground pin number 3 and 16 connected to plus VCC pin number 2 and 8 connected to ground pin number 1 is connected to ground through a 1 kilo ohms resistor now see this the first resistor this one is A this is for B, C, D, E, F and G so pin number 10 is connected to first resistor Pin number 12 is connected to the second resistor. 13 is connected to third resistor. Pin number 9 is connected to fourth resistor. Pin number 11 is connected to fifth one. Pin number 6 is connected to sixth resistor. And pin number 7 is connected to seventh resistor. As the first resistor is for A, so this one is connected to pin A of the 7 segment display second one is connected to B of the 7 segment display this is for C D E this one is for F and the last one G ok so our display is connected now we need another breadboard put the IC 7408 it is AND gate IC 
its pin number 7 is connected to ground pin number 16 is connected to plus VCC pin number 3 is connected to pin number 15 of the IC its pin number 2 is connected to pin number 7 of the IC and pin number 1 is connected to pin number 6 of the IC so this IC connection is completed 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected between pin number 15 and ground now put the push button switch its input side is connected to plus VCC and the other side of the switch is connected to pin number 1 of the IC cathode pin of the LED is connected to ground another side is connected with 220 ohm resistor and this resistor is connected to pin number 1 of the 4026IC ok so our circuit connection is completed now connect both the positive rail and the negative rail now connect the power supply here is our negative and here is our positive now provide clock pulse to the IC ok so again it is 0 as it is mode 4 so 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 so this is the circuit connection for mode 4 counter now we can provide clock pass to this IC from the triple 5 timer IC we need a triple 5 timer IC it's pin 4 and 8 both are connected together pin number 1 is connected to ground pin number 5 is connected with a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor and then it is connected to ground pin number 3 is our output and this will be connected to pin number 1 of 4026 IC ok and we will connect one LED so whenever its pulse is high this LED will glow the resistor value is 220 ohms pin number 7 is connected with a 1 kilo ohm resistor pin number 6 and 2 both are connected together and we have to connect 10 kilo ohm resistors between pin number 7 and 6 and then one capacitor is connected the negative pin of the capacitor is connected to the ground the capacitor value is 47 microfarad ok so this is all about our pulse generation circuit now let's see this on the breadboard now see this put the triple 5 timer IC pin number 4 is connected with plus VCC also the pin number 8 pin number 1 is connected to ground 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor is connected with pin number 5 then the other side of the capacitor is connected to the ground 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected between pin number 7 and plus VCC now I am connecting 10 kilo ohm resistor in between pin number 7 and 2 pin number 6 and 2 both are connected together 47 microfarad capacitor is connected between pin number 2 and ground connect both the positive rail also the negative rail now remove this LED the wires connected to pin number 1 of 4026IC and we do not need this switch now connect its pin number 3 to the pin number 1 of the 4026IC now connect 220 ohm resistor to pin 3 of 555 you can also connect here but I am connecting here now put the LED so our circuit connection is completed now put the power supply here is our negative and here is our positive so now you can see that whenever this LED gets high this number is changing ok you can get the accurate 1 second pulse by using one crystal oscillator I have already uploaded a video on this link in the description below so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching